Well, uh, good afternoon. Uh, the Security Council will meet on CIA at 3 p.m. I think this is a timely meeting. We will listen to Martin Griffith. He's in just now in CIA. Uh, this is a tragedy, humanitarian tragedy. It should not be politicized. Uh, the Security Council should take its responsibilities and facilitate humanitarian relief uh, for the northern part of Syria. Uh, the earthquake took place a week ago, uh, so uh, we have no time to lose. Uh, we need to help the UN, the UN agencies, the NGOs to provide humanitarian relief. Uh, we need uh, access. Uh, of course, there are two options, either uh, the government of Syria uh, grants access himself, and uh, that's one option, or if he doesn't uh, uh, do it, it's for, it will be for the Security Council to decide on the Chapter 7 on additional cross-border mechanism. Option one, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, since the earthquake took place one week ago, uh, uh, the Assad regime could already have done that. So if this is an emergency, you don't need to wait one week, two weeks, three weeks. It should take place now. So this is what uh, I would say later today. I think we need access now. So if the Syrian regime gives access, that's one thing. If not, the Security Council will have to take its responsibility and to do it. It should not be politicized. It should uh, uh, happen now. So I think uh, uh, we will uh, come with a, a resolution in case there is no authorization by CIA. And uh, I don't think we are ready to negotiate with the Syrian regime with offsets and other things. So I think either they give access now or uh, we go for a resolution and I hope we will be adopted uh, soon because uh, this is a matter of emergency. It's urgent. Again, the earthquake took place one week ago, not yesterday, one week ago. So a uh, decision should be made now. When you talk about Chapter 7, what? when you talk about Chapter 7, can you clarify? Has a, has a resolution been drafted and circulated yeah, there, to there, the council? There, 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 we are ready. You're ready? Yeah. And what is How that How confident saying? are you no, that Russia... It's not, it's not Political. It's just you know you know the cross-border resolution. How uh, they are? It's chapter seven. You reopen a, a point, two points. We'll see how long. It's it's everything uh, should be discussed. But uh, it's not that difficult to prepare. I think we are ready, and uh, I think the pen holders are ready, and uh, we should take action. How, how confident are you that Russia will go along with that? We'll see. I think uh, the question is just that if you look, and uh, I will say that as well. Uh, if you look, uh, who? is providing humanitarian relief for CIA now in the past. 90% of the humanitarian relief provided to CIA is, is, is paid by the European Union, the US, Japan, Canada. Uh, Russia and China don't give money to CIA, and they are not ready to do it now. So uh, this is the reality in, the, in terms of number. Well, what Nine happens if Russia vetoes? What? What happens if Russia vetoes your resolution? <laughs> I think they, it, it, it will mean that uh, Russia prefers uh, people in northern Syria to starve. Well, what That's what it. On the ground, though? What? How is that the solution on the ground? What, do you, what options do you have if Russia vetoes? Other than everybody will have to take its responsibilities. What we will do is, uh, in a very non-political manner, ask for a limited period of time to reopen all the crossing points to make sure that the convoys from the NGOs, from the UN agencies, have access to help the people in need. It's not political. So the Syrian regime has to accept it. If not, there is a resolution. If there is a resolution, all council members have to accept it or not to vote against. Otherwise, it will mean that they are not ready to help the people. That's as simple as that. Well, yes. Don't you want to say okay. bye? Are you Thank you. after the meeting and tell us yeah, what sure. happened. Yeah, I will. What do you yeah. expect right. to vote yeah. tomorrow, <laughs> today? <laughs>